Good morning. I'm ready to move out from Dimapur to Guwahati, and I'll be visiting a place there for a function on the way. So everything is set, packed. Now we'll be moving out. I'm sure I'll have a very good journey. Safety first. At the same time, enjoy the road. So I'm now fully ready. The bike is fully set up. Everything is being uh, fitted very well. This is the tail bag, 50 liters. And this is the tank bag. Now fully fitted, ready to move. My helmet is ready. <laughs> okay. Hello. So this is, uh, can you just tell, introduce yourself? <laughs> your name, your name, your name. My name is Ning Tong Ponyak. Okay, Ning, uh, Ning Tong yeah, yeah. Ponyak, no? Yeah. Ponyak. So you are the receptionist of Aquila Hotel, Aquila Hotel no? Yeah. So yeah, I have uh, stayed here for two nights. And uh, it's in the Dimapur main area, uh, near Senior Treasury Office. Yeah, yeah. We have also Nagaland Industrial Development Corporation Limited. Yeah, so it's a kind of in the city, but a um, little bit away. You will not hear so much noise. Yeah, so um, it is also a good place to stay. You can always uh, check out this place and come and see for yourself. I'll put the description below if you happen to come to Dimapur and you are looking for a place. It's also one of the good places. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I am moving out from the supermarket area in Dimapur. So today the plan is to reach to Guwahati. This is a very important overbridge in Dimapur town, particularly in the main buzzer area. So on my left as you can see is the railway station and this bridge connects you to the main shopping area of Dimapur. I take the Niyama Lota road now. I think due to non-stop movement of vehicles especially in this town area I think the road is worn the road has worn out time has come to repair it and this monsoon season can really deteriorate the condition and I suppose the good road uh, will also help in reducing the dust um, and now it's about uh, 8 so a lot of autos are being hired by the students and uh, proceeding towards their school so i am facing a little bit of traffic jam here difficult to find a path for myself this is the city tower of demapur town so this way actually leads to uh, the pool site so with full energy I'm moving towards Guwahati just have a little bit view of the uh, Dimapur town how it looks like so I'm coming out to the border it's very near from here Dimapur is at the border of Assam so it's very close by and now I have come to Karbiang Long Road this is only one lane the vehicles that go from uh, Dimapur side and the vehicles that come from Assam uh, especially from Karbiang Long side we meet on the same road so it's very good it's very smooth and plain but at the same time um, we have to be alert here because especially in overtaking and there are blind lot of blind corners we can always be surprised by the uh, the vehicles that come from the other direction and it can be so dangerous 
and sometimes uh, people overtake in the turn which is very risky and should not because of the blind corners so this is a situation enjoy the road at the same time need to be very alert yeah I'm overtaking only when I see a straight road and when I know that I can still get back to my lane safely then only overtaking is done but it's really amazing you find a thick greenery on both the sides of the road very smooth road though it has got many corners yet it's nothing like gliding over this road I know the people from Nagaland and Manipur will be so happy to ride on such a type of road uh, 150 60 probably we take this uh, one lane road and once we reach the bypass then we have the double lane which is again uh, really good but once we reach this uh, main Karbiang Long area then um, there is a road construction where you can already enjoy the double lane yet there are many diversions as you have seen the journey look at the road though it is one lane it is really beautiful I really enjoy it and you might be hearing the sound of the river flowing and here is the river this is the notice board Marat Longri Wildlife Sanctuary Karbiang Long this is the King Cruiser Adventure what they advertise as feel like God <laughs> very comfortable very comfortable it's so beautiful amidst the greenery The sound is very loud. If you look at the river flowing, you remember the movie Bahubali Part 1. There is some sort of a resort here where people can come for picnic and lay out. Welcome to Silveta Picnic Spot, Kobyan Long. I'm sure you will have a very good time here. So this is the road where you can fly more than 100 kilometers per hour. I'm really munching miles because I need to reach back early as well. But at the same time, also enjoying the road. And safety first. So when I see a long stretch of empty road, then only I am flying above 100. The road is so good, what to say. Okay, let me tell a little bit about the Adventure Cruiser, my experience. It's, it's very comfortable uh, in, in terms of sitting posture and it has a lot of power, which is, especially for a single rider, it has more than enough power, I should say, for even for overtaking at a very high speed uh, it's quite stable and comfortable yeah. when it comes to an exposed rider for an exposed rider those who love really in playing with the bikes I think this you won't get that much of fun this is a kind of a solemn and serious kind of riding personality can enjoy this 
probably when you grow a little older you don't do much of uh, flickering and you know uh, playing with the bites then i think this is a very good deal uh, when it comes to price and everything i have no complaint absolutely but bajaj engine is very good the gear is smooth and there is punch even in lower lower rpm compared to um, expels so i think uh, i have ridden also bajaj 150 cc for two three days and what i realized comparing to hero expels is that um, the punch no the the torque and the horsepower i think is quite beautifully blended in bajaj engine that is what i feel so um, there's no problem like compared when you compare it with 150 cc and 200 what i find is that um for lower rpm the torque and the pull i think it's very close to 200 sometimes i think it might be better also that is what i feel um but when it comes to higher rpm that's where definitely the 150 won't reach the 200 because uh, to reach 100 is not a big deal for hero expulse also according to my experience and the more you give open the gas it can reach up to 125 quite quite okay and without much vibration but so that is the advantage of expulse and why people love expulse i think because of the stance no because of its adventure look and not only look it gives you one of the best suspension bikes in india it's very soft you can jump when you meet undulation no undulation of the road you find so comfortable there is no shock that you will be getting so in that terms i really enjoy expose and i really miss it uh, i cannot take uh, expose for long ride because foil pump failure which uh, the company said that they will replace the defective part so in the meantime i get to ride this uh, cruiser which once upon a time i also love uh, for its uh, simplicity for its comfort for its uh, budget friendly bike at the same time for its capability people have taken Bajaj Adventure um, quite a lot in Ladakh and all that and they had a very good uh, ride and as well as a very good review so um, I, I love I love this uh, adventure cruiser as well it's only that I think for me it's too early um, to get into it because young blood needs different riding stands more playfulness as well and but otherwise uh, this is very close to the design of uh, harley division uh, in india so and the comfort is another level <laughs> i didn't regret it i really enjoyed and i'm quite confident that i'll reach my destination without any problem hats off to bajaj in general and particularly i enjoyed adventure cruiser as well it's very light bike and you can reach the ground with both your legs and the interesting thing about the bazaar no? when i first rode it i was not my leg was used to my legs are used to putting straight you know but here i have to really raise my leg and then put it on the bar right so that's two three times i was trying to put my leg straight uh, right down uh, but then you know uh, in avenger your leg has to little bit you know uh, put forward because you have to sit very comfortably and ride this bike uh, enjoyed a lot it it got my work done so happy for it at the same time now that i have ridden avenger for three days got a good idea about the what it means to own a cruiser bike guys i'm cutting down a lot of uh, clips uh, but i just wanted to show you <coughs> the idea of how the 
road from Guwahati to Dimapur is so if you have some idea it's basically the same I have tried to keep all the types of road the double lane single lane uh, and also a little bit of portholes that I made so basically um, there is not anything that is left out or uh, skipped so that you have a good idea of the road and when you come you can prepare your mind mentally so prepare your mind mentally to enjoy that's it yeah so as you can see I heard the sound just now and the brake broke but I'll tie here and then go guys uh, good evening I am back to Guwahati from Dimapur and here is a mechanic Afghan yes. Mamata DJ Mamata Rashidul Islam okay so he's the mechanic who checks all the bikes, no? the condition of the bikes and so let me uh, ask him to you know tell some of the best uh, bikes available here no? Yeah, available Yamaha R3 Yeah, Yamaha R3, no? Uh, uh. Classic 350 Interceptor will get And then AV Classic Classic, no? Thunderbird, no? Oh, Scooty will be available Oh, Scooty, no? Single stack classic tanks, bullet tanks will get Okay, okay And then AV Classic Classic, no? So, basically you will get the Royal Enfield Not Himalayan as such Himalayan, right now they are repairing but in the Royal Enfield, you will get classic, no? Classic, uh, and also the Interceptor and uh, GT Continental, no? Uh, 650. And also, there is one uh, special Royal Enfield here, which is adventure type. That also is there. We have a uh, Scooty here, and there is one R3. Any Yamaha fan can really try on this. Really love to take yeah, this. Great, great. Those who have not tried R3 and love to do it, you can just come to Ahija and then try. And you can take it to Shillong side or somewhere like Chirapunji or something. Yeah. It will be really fantastic.